us to spend a billion bucks beating this guy, he could do it. Absolutely. Um, somebody tweeted recently that um, actually with the money he spent, he could have given every American a million dollars. got it. Let's put it up yeah. on the screen. It, when I read it uh, tonight on social media, it kind of all became clear. Bloomberg spent $500 million on ads, U.S. population $327 million. Uh, don't tell us if you're ahead of us on the math. He could have given each American $1 million and have had lunch money left over. It's an incredible way of putting it. Okay, so I saw this tweet before I saw this clip, and the first time I saw the tweet, I had a little bit of a mind moment because for a moment, I thought I could have been a millionaire. I was really excited. I was thinking, oh my gosh, what would I do with a million dollars? And then I started to think about what happens from perceived inflation, which is where the money wasn't actually just printed. So inflation isn't a thing, but now we have more potential buyers in a market. So if we have more buyers in a market, would that make people start raising prices artificially because now the money seems to be everywhere when in fact it really was just transferred from another place? And as I begun to start researching and perceived inflation, math. <laughs> Oops, I forgot about math. 500 million does not split into 327 million for a million apiece to every American. That would be a dollar and 53 cents. We'll round it up. Why did my brain and MSNBC think this makes sense? Come with me to a coffee shop. Welcome to Mom and Pop's Coffee Shop. Today, we have a special deal. The special deal is if you want to buy a coffee and a bagel, it will be sold to you for a dollar and 10 cents. Ooh, however, you have to solve this little riddle. Now, the coffee is exactly $1 more than the bagel. How much does the coffee cost and how much does the bagel cost? Ding. If you said $1 for the coffee and 10 cents for the bagel, you would be one of those people who might think that 500 million evenly splits to a million dollars for every American in the United States. Because you see, $1 minus 10 cents is 90 cents. That's not $1 more. The actual answer is a dollar and five cents for the coffee and five cents for the bagel. Why? This is known as type one thinking. Type one thinking is really efficient, it's fast, it's used in life and death situations, and it's what human beings rely on most of the time. It's pretty good, except when you're trying to get something like a coffee bagel situation or trying to actually calculate Mike Bloomberg's presidential spendings into every American. Which actually, if you think about it, 500 million, 327 million, just remove the million, 500 is bigger than 327. That's why the brain was like, yeah, that makes total sense. I mean, think about it from the perspective of like Breath of the Wild. You got a player, they're being attacked. They don't have time to think really hard about where the Lionel's coming from. They have to dodge the attack. They have to shoot at its head. They have to just panic fight during this thing. And so type one exists for us to survive. Type two is something only humans can do. It involves rational thinking, predicting, being more logical, thinking more slowly, critical processes, stuff like a puzzle from Breath of the Wild. You need to figure out how to solve this, and so that causes players to stop and predict outcomes, hypothesize, experiment, and observe. That's critical thinking. That's type two thinking. All right, so how do we activate type two thinking? By thinking, actually. Uh, there is a study done with med students who are asked the bagel question and two other questions just like it. And they found that the students who perceived certain questions as harder were more likely to get those answers right. So by the expectation that this was a hard question, they thought through it longer. They didn't sort of take the first intuition response. They took the one that required more analysis and critical thinking and made that effort and process which caused them to notice the weird trick in the question. I realized my mistake with the tweet once I started thinking about inflation. The moment I started looking into that, that caused me to start thinking critically about the whole environment of the tweet and where it came from, which helped me realize that something seemed off about the mathematics. So when you see a tweet, a headline, thumbnail, whatever it is, take a moment to think about who wrote it, why did they write it, what do they want to do, who do you think the tweet or the article is for? By doing these things, it just puts yourself into a more critical thinking position because whenever you see something and you're just like, I feel, that's you using type one. Whenever you see something you feel, then you go, maybe I should think about that some more, activating type two. 
Oh, and if you uh, want to see the two other questions in the med students thing, because it's pretty fun, and once you're aware that these questions exist, I wish you luck in solving them. Here they are. You got about 10 seconds to figure out what they are, and then I will put up the answers. Ding.